Bum, bum, bum. Hello, Hello, everybody. Hello, explorers. We are here. <laughs> hey, you got it. I'll set up. Yes, Welcome, sir. everyone. It is going to be an explorer filled night because we have our buddies. Hello, explorers. Yes. Our buddies. Our buddies from been... halfway across the U.S. What? what? They're like the next state over. <laughs> Adam <laughs> and Steve. <laughs> Adam and Steve from Waypoint, Waypoint Explorers. Explorers. Hello, everyone. Hello. They were recently on the um, Icon of the Seas, the Greg say it, the, the biggest ship in the world. <laughs> Name like you know. <laughs> drag queen when you said that. Wow. <laughs> and uh, so they just, you guys got back Saturday. When we, Saturday. Like, Saturday, yeah. Saturday. Oh my gosh. So it's like Remember, it hasn't healed yet. So. Yeah. So this is gonna be hot off the press. They're gonna give you the insides and outs of things you should do, things you shouldn't do, things you don't want to do, things you do want to do. <coughs> no <Wow>. pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Thank you, Angela, for putting their channel in there. Thank you. So I feel like Angela I'm... always has our back. Thanks, Angela. Our lighting is dark. Do you want me to brighten it up or yeah, probably a little right. bit, please? All right, so that one shine in darker than the other one. We're still trying to get ourselves situated in the semi new uh studio because we won't always do our show from here, but we're trying to get it looking. But there we go, now we don't look so much in the dark. Yes, gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> Oh, thank you. We do have some dilly dilly here too. Um, I think you guys have some dilly dilly also. <laughs> On the table, Dennis, yes. Dennis and Jameson Stout mixed together. Jameson whiskey, yeah. Cheers, dilly dilly, everybody. Dilly dilly. dilly We're dilly. just drinking straight Jameson. Well, it's Jameson finished in a stout barrel. So there, that's what we have. That's what we have. But then I put it in the <laughs> oh, you don't beer also. <laughs> <laughs> So, Greg, we've got some people that have been coming in. Why don't you welcome them, welcome them in? All right. So we have Angela Nimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimishimish
I don't know if you have like the panorama when we walked into the panorama atrium. I was like, this seemed like it was bigger in videos and in person it's still big, but it's it just doesn't feel as big. And that's how the like walking in and seeing the pearl like in videos it just seemed like it was going to be huge and it was big, but it yeah. wasn't like overwhelming. I mean, I, don't uh, know. I mean, it's like three decks tall. I mean, it's big. But yeah. How many decks? Three. Like three, like five, six, and seven. I mean, it's really wow. just a stairwell with, you know, <laughs> well, when you walk through. But it's, it's made for Instagram <laughs> much, so it's cool. It's really cool. Awesome. NetJoy22, welcome, Tiffany Peacock, Nautical Nurse Nancy, welcome to our show. Um, everybody, if we missed anyone, welcome <laughs> to the show. NetJoy22 came from um, your page. Yep. Yeah, Good she's Nat. So thank hey, you. Man. Yes, thank you. She's a plant um, nerd. She's 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 in the plants. I was gonna say it looks like your garden has grown a lot more than the last time we've seen it. Yeah. Well, it's just I'm just really good at taking care of plants. <laughs> so they just keep getting bigger and bigger. That's good. There you go. <laughs> See, that's yeah. what we need. We need some fresh yeah, bigger and bigger. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. So um you guys, when did you um did you get okay? Everyone's talking about how expensive the icon of the seas. It's the most expensive cruise in the world. No, it's not. But um, <laughs> the um, the question is, did you guys get any? Because I know some people got some good deals when they booked yeah. the cruise. Yeah. Were you guys? Um, I think we found just another YouTuber, and they you know they have a travel agent. So it seems like with Royal, the best way to get any kind of deal is to find a group right with the travel agent. Go, the worst way to book Royal is to direct because <laughs> we went in there and, you know, it's like $10,000, right? But, you know, we paid a third of that with the group. So you really need to find groups like that and get with it. I mean, so, I think we can be transparent if you want to know. Like, yeah, it was 30, 3,500 total for two or a standard balcony. Wow. That's so, really good. But otherwise, I mean, we booked on direct. It's 11,000, 10, 11,000. So. That's Welcome, happy ever, Yodi. Did I say Yodi. that right? Yodi. Yodi. And, and Ryan Donahue. Plant Girl 50 Bree. Welcome. Welcome. You're getting a lot of people over here from your, your side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Guys, so awesome job. Thank you so awesome. much for, for joining us. Um, Ryan was over there with in Helen. I saw some pictures oh, of him. Oh, welcome, in there. Ryan yeah. Donahue. Yeah. Um, you, so you joined a Facebook group. And then you went through their travel agent or no. you went through your own? No, it was just a YouTube or another YouTube had, and they were saying, Hey, we got these group rates. And I was just like, okay, what is it? And I was like 67% off. I'm like, okay, I might buy it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was one of those things where it was like, Steve's like, Oh, Hey, I booked this. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like you want to go on this? <laughs> sure. Okay. We're going. He just really, like, he hopped on the deal, but yeah, I mean, that is pretty pricey comparatively to other ships for sure i mean i wouldn't pay ten thousand dollars to go on it no. <laughs> it's really worth if we would have had kids you know i mean i'd rather go on three cruises but I, it's worth a little bit more than the normal license class for sure but together oh okay yes for some reason i thought i heard you say i thought you said thirty five thousand for a second and then you were saying you wouldn't spend ten thousand i'm like wait you said thirty five hundred yes. total. Okay, that yeah, that's a steal actually compared to ten thousand. Yeah, I think the alcohol hall is already kicking in a little bit. <laughs> but um, I know some people, from what I've heard anyway, they join Facebook groups and they can like, or they join a group and they can get group rates that way too. I but think you a the, I think a lot of the groups on Facebook are started by travel agents with groups to try to advertise to get in on it so i mean that's yeah. maybe another way to find if you're looking for deals but i mean and it's a good way to make new friends it doesn't it's not mm -hmm. i don't think people should feel bad doing that because you're getting you're helping them out you're helping yourself out and you might make some friends uh, as well in the process so it's a win-win for everybody really yeah. <clears throat> You know, one thing we didn't do, we didn't introduce because I know there's, Fields, welcome. there's some different people on here who I think they might all know. Nat J22, welcome. If I don't say it, I'm going to forget. Waypoint, <laughs> you've already said Nat, Nat J22, but mm. welcome again. Um, <laughs> the, now you're going to mess me up. Um, We're like Nancy and, and, and Anthony. And Anthony. Yes. <laughs> um, so a little bit about your channel. Now, 
you, Adam, have a very successful channel through plants. Um, so this is kind of a new venture for both of you guys to do Waypoint Explorers, which is your, your travel <clears throat> channel. But what's the, what's the name of your your plant channel? Hi, Nancy uh, Fields. My, the plant channel that I do is called, it's not dude, K-N-O-T, because I used to do macrame for the plants. I don't do macrame anymore. I know how to do it. I just don't do it. But that's where the name came from. And I've always just really liked creating. And then, so this was an opportunity for Steve and I to do this together. So we started this channel and I like vlogs a lot more, but you know, I just sporadically feel like editing a video because <laughs> we, we, you guys know, you get it. Like we didn't edit the virgin ones that we took over a year ago I and mean, you were going to, but it'll happen. Yeah. We haven't, we haven't yeah, done it either with everything going on, the house, the move, everything else. It'll happen when it happens right now. Yeah. I think we're three behind now, right? Yeah. In two days. <laughs> we didn't say hi to um, Michael and Spoiled Mama. Welcome. And Disney Nerd Herders. It's a herd attack. Ooh. And Chrissy. Oh, hey, Chrissy. They were, they were in um, Animal Kingdom today. And they're, oh, I believe they're going to be on our show next week. They booked a <laughs> Disney cruise for the first time. Their <laughs> first cruise. And we're going to help them out with some questions. Yep. And, and that's uh, our Easter questions. show, too. So we're going to incorporate some Easter into it also. Yeah. So Greg's going to be jumping out of the basket in an in a <laughs> Easter costume, a bunny costume. <laughs> like uh, a little bunny food, who I am not. <laughs> so um, your itinerary, I, we were talking before the show. This was about the six... Um, selling of the icon of the sea so yeah. very new um to the selling so they were on the sixth one yes and now the seventh one just started yes that comes after six yes i know <laughs> I'm already, <laughs> that will be already i'm just saying the, <laughs> they probably had their next one that saturday that they you know why six is scared of seven uh, seven eight nine wait that's the wrong that's not how that book goes <laughs> Oh well, God. that's still good. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, <laughs> okay but yes, there you go. Uh, so, what was the itinerary? You left out of Miami, and what was the itinerary um, for you guys? Um, it was Saint Martin, uh, Saint Thomas, and Coco Cay. So originally, we booked two weeks earlier, but I, but it was the Saint Kitts. So most of them are Saint Kitts right now. But you know, we hadn't been to Saint Martin together, and I had been in a lot, a lot of years. Yeah, so, so basically, to so Steve we paid, really wanted to go to St. Martin. So we paid a little more to go for yeah. that. But, you know, of course, Miami this time of year, it's the cruise is half the cost, right? It's, as you know, flying from the West Coast to Florida is ridiculous prices. So, but yeah. we had two sea days to kick it off, which yeah. was good because, you know, we do our drink around the ship where we hit all the bars. Um, and there was, it was two too days. many bars on this ship. So we had to break it up in two days. So for two days, we were just doing drink around the ship for the first two. And we still days. missed a couple. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, they think they said there were 49 bars, but I think oh, not all those bars are public facing. So those are probably like, you know, dining room bars or, you know, behind the scenes, but still 49 bars they had to staff for this. So. Yeah. Christy N. Welcome and Timothy Christy. Walter. Oh, oh Christy, Christy H. H. Sorry, I can't read. And Timothy Walters. Welcome, welcome. Timothy. Hope you are feeling well. <clears throat> you said 42, 49, 49 bars. Wow. That's yeah, he's a different number every time. So. Yeah, they, they kept saying <laughs> the same number, I mean, the more you drink, you're going to forget. You're going to think of the 100 bars by the time you're done That's right. <laughs> or, or more. <laughs> That's a lot. Was there any good specialty drinks that were signature just for their ship? You know, there's a bar in the lobby called the 1400 bar, which is like, it kind of is like a history of Royal Caribbean. I really liked the vibe there, mm -hmm. but they did have a, a, a drink just for this ship. And it was the one that's like a, they put like a smoke bubble on it for the Pearl. Like, oh. I think Carnival does something similar. Yeah. So don't they with have a, the 1400 bar felt a lot like the alchemy bar in ways. That would be the closest. Yeah. Say. It's the signature bar with all the, the fanciest drinks, you know. <laughs> Got it. I kind of see sounds they, like they, they were really good that I noticed versus like the Oasis and stuff. Like 
the bars were more specialty and they all had like nice menus and they all had specialty items in the menus. Yeah. So, I I'm think it, but Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, some of them repeated, like, you know, like the music hall maybe had the same drinks as, you know, what like the dueling piano bar or something, but I, they, they were very themed. They were elevated. So they, they really improved the drinks quite a bit. Wait, wait a minute. You said there's 49 bars on there and you did drink around the ship. How many bars did you say you hit? 22. Well, I think we only, yeah, because we didn't do the, like the bars that were inside restaurants. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we kind of cut those out. So it ended up being 20 some bars that we got to drink at. Yeah, we haven't counted. Wow. <laughs> we normally with Derek and I, when we go on ships, there's like that one bar that we always gravitate towards and we always go to that mm-hmm. bar or like with Princess, there's only one bar that makes the drink that I really like. I think it's called the Aviator. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have to go up the stairs and go down the hall. I know where it's at because it's the same layout, but I have to go and get it and then bring it back. Mm-hmm. And I love the color, the smell, everything. He doesn't like it, but I love it's that. Good. I love that Gin drink. It, or it's a martini. I don't. It's like so it. pretty looking. It's like a light blue. So and then and then we come back to like the bar that we're at, but. The, was there a bar that just, was there a bar that you guys gravitated towards out of all the others during your stay on the ship? Ooh. You know, not so much like we did with our first cruise with Princess, but we kind of stayed there in the couple. promenade, like Schooner Bar. The Schooner Bar is always a a good one that we go to. I mean, especially when like you kind of go to the venues where people aren't playing. Um. I don't know. We would go to the screener where not necessarily to hear the piano player, but just to have drinks there while there were you could hear the other venues. So that was kind of a, a weird thing because all it's or it's pretty it's pretty open. It's almost like you're all the bars are in the promenade and there's no walls, right? It's all just playing right out to the atrium. I think they try to alternate so that not everybody's playing at the same time. But, yeah. But so it's like one big room and they kind of all echo off each other. Yeah. A little bit. But yeah. they did. I think that the first sailing, they had some trouble with that and they they did adjust schedules. So they weren't all going off at once. <laughs> I can imagine. We also <laughs> hung out at the trellis. Uh, well, in Central Park, there's the blues, which is like a jazz oh, we, we there club several times, jazz yeah. and blues. And that was a vibe. Yeah. So we, we, we enjoyed sitting in Central Park, listening to the blues and jazz. You know, they, and they would have like, you know, prohibition type cocktails, right? They, it, they really themed it up, right? They'd have the Sazeracs and, you know, like old, old fashioned kind of drinks. So it was really cool that they really themed the drinks with the bar. So. Oh, that's nice. What was your favorite bar that you went to? Ooh. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that. Um, favorite, that's hard. It's like having a favorite child. <laughs> wait did i miss something did you say i'm not he supposed went, to say that no, no i'm not supposed to tap on the oh, was, sorry <laughs> like, wait what are you not supposed to say now <laughs> i liked the the lime and the coconut frozen bar on this ship so they had like all of the machines to do the like the like six you know like in six, las vegas seven. where you get the yardstick of just like slushy yeah so they have a bar on this ship that's just for that um, um And so, like, during the day when it was hot and the sun was hitting you, that was a fun place to go. Yeah, I we we do that every now and then in Vegas. I think we've got sick from that a couple of times, but I don't know if I would enjoy it on the the ship. I can't do it. It wasn't yard drinks. It was in, like, regular cups. It was just, like, if you wanted a Miami Vice or you wanted a pina colada, like, you can get it real easy. Yeah, you could mix up the three flavors, so it was kind of, you know... (laughs) Oh wow! It's okay. it's um, it's great to hear that Royal Caribbean is changing things to adjust stuff because um, Maddie and Scott, no maps need to travel. They were an invited guest um, for like the pre cruises celebrations, mm-hmm. and um, they um, they said that one of their complaints was that there was different musicians going on at one time, and it would blend the music together. So. Y- like how you're saying you are not in one, but you could hear like three different acts going on and it just kind of jarbled everything. So it sounds like they've done a really good job changing that. Yeah. I mean, right. you still could, <laughs> I mean, but it, I think they tried not to get adjacent bars playing music at the same time. So Angelo was asking what kind of room you guys yeah, so had. Let's, let's talk about your room. How was that? Um, It was good. We got a standard, standard balcony. Yeah. So we did not want an infinite balcony. 
I um, <laughs> so we dealt with Infinite Balcony on Celebrity for our Panama Canal cruise, and dealt I loved with, it. I like that. You, I mean, well, hold on. <laughs> but I didn't like that when you put the window down, it shut the AC off. So at least with a balcony, you can just like exit, and you have the two environments. So that was that's why I think I like. I would say balcony. Over, I wouldn't pay more for an infinite balcony, but we just had a regular balcony, deck seven. Very um, pretty forward. Forward of the ship. Pretty forward. Yeah. Um, yeah. The room really- was small, though. I got to be honest. It felt the it, first thing I said when we got into the room was like, oh, this feels small. Like it felt narrow. It felt short. It just felt more it's, compact. It's, it kind of felt like they shrank everything by 10%. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a little bit. So storage was a little weird, you know, kind of like a virgin, you know, virgin was like, where am I going to put this stuff? Mm-hmm. And there are spots, but it's like, oh, I have to fold something up, put it in a basket or hide it instead of hanging it up. So was it a lot of hanging space? But, you know, there were these, I don't know, baskets from Target. I think in there. <laughs> yeah. But, Timothy, uh, so um, Waypoint were saying before you, you got on that yeah, they actually... Say. Um, were able to get a discounted price, like yeah. quite a bit off. Um, they only because paid they 3, went through. They went through a travel agent that had a group cruise going on, um, and it lowered their their cost um, for the room. So that is something really to to think about. Um, looking, yeah. we've never really done that. Um, That's a say. big savings from ten thousand <clears throat> down to thirty five hundred. Mm-hmm. What kind of magic was that travel agent working? <laughs> That's a lot. Just so, early, I don't know how many people she had. I'm sure she had hundreds. Oh, then that would be the reason why. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's an agency just gets a huge block and you know, gets the discount. And so I'm so not sure how you do with Royal, just unfortunately. We have a question. Um, I don't know what an infinite balcony is, so please explain. It's like an infinity pool type. It's an ocean view with an opening window. <laughs> so Natalie, on ships, like if you have an infinite balcony, you basically just have a window on in your room. So your room is as like, it would be including a balcony, but it's a window that you can put it halfway down. It's a full window. I mean, it's yeah, the whole it's a robotic. Well, not robot. It's an automatic window that you can put down. So then it would be like, you would look, look out of a balcony and you can look out the side of the ship and see the water, hear the sounds. But as soon as you uh, start putting that window down, all of the air conditioning, which makes sense, will sure. cut off in your room. So when you're in the Caribbean, that's never a fun thing. It's like you. It's like in the middle of summer in Florida, and you're going to put your windows down, right? So, and the humid air comes into your air conditioned room, and, just, <laughs> and you can't use any mirror. Yeah. It's. It would be great for Alaska. Is how I see it. Would it. Be really it would be good for an Alaska. If the weather was cool outside. It would be awesome because it's like a huge window. I mean, the window is the size of the room. It's a full, but then it just kind of goes in half, and you can hang out. We did that before, where we had the window open. And it was so humid, it started condensating on the walls, and the mm-hmm. mirror was all fogged up. <laughs> yeah, and you can live um, a whole Titanic fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite place you traveled, Waypoint? Said S. Danny D, the spectacular supporter. Ooh, on this cruise, ooh, I don't know. They were all good for different reasons. Well, so- Steve rarely has a decision. <laughs> <laughs> brewers bay in st thomas that was good we needed a chill day we just got in a taxi got to the beach and just sat there all day we got randomly we're swimming with sea turtles it was just like oh it was a really beautiful and amazing experience oh, wow where was that at brewers bay in st thomas okay. so right over by the airport which this nerd got to watch the planes land which he was excited about mm-hmm but then, yeah, we just got into the water, and then all of a sudden, there's a sea turtle swimming next to me. It was the coolest experience. Yeah, and it's no. shaded, and it's not crowded. There's no, there's yeah. no bars or anything like it that. Was just very so relaxing. you need a real chill. I need to get away from it. Take an eight dollar taxi ride from Crown Bay. You know, take a take some, take food. I mean, take your food or anything. There might have been a food truck, somebody there, but don't expect it. And taxis weren't a problem. Taxis drove by all the time. So, and it's. Good, cheap, relaxing. You know, there was shade from like some fig trees. You could sit on the fig trees. So it was kind of cool. I <laughs> love sea turtles. Until you tell them to stop. <laughs> I, know. I think I think I I I probably would have weeped a little if I saw a sea turtle right by me, and because I love sea turtles, so that that would have been like a spiritual experience for me. 
they're magical to watch swim. Like I don't get it, but like they can heal me just like by watching them. I'm just like, Oh, cause I was not super happy that morning. Um, it was, you know, it was, we've been dealing with the ship and like all that stress. And I just wanted to just relax. And so this, this, uh, that excursion for us was, is really a great one. And then just seeing those sea turtles, I was like, okay, everything's right in the world now. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the thing that there's so much on that ship that it's, it's, I won't say it's not relaxing, but it, you know, it's very intense. You know, there's always something to do. Oh, I missed this show. I got to hit the show. I got to get dinner. I got to do this. And then it's just like, oh, it's overwhelmed. So we really needed a day to do nothing. <laughs> no yeah. I think, I think that turtle knew you were having a bad day. So it wanted to come by and brighten you up a little. I think it wanted to bite you, but it, oh, it wow. went by and Why do you take you? a good thing and ruin it? Like <laughs> Is that a worm I see? No. <laughs> From the waters. No. <laughs> well, at least you had a at least you had a turtle and not a shark come by you because I would have freaked if I saw that. Both um, George and Alana and Tim Tim Timothy Walters. Gosh, that was a tongue twister for some reason. Um, they were talking about that solo as solo travelers, it would be very expensive to um to book a room on the icon of the seas. But I would say also in general, because cruising has gone up. We were looking at going on a cruise because we had to cancel uh, the Symphony of the Seas. We were hoping for a California one that we might get like really, really cheap. Nope, they're still like up there. And these are like four day cruises. So we uh, decided not to go on a cruise this year. So we don't have, we canceled all, all four of our cruises will be canceled. Welcome, Pepper Tree Villa. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Our boys who go live now on the West Coast at 5 o'clock Pacific on Mondays and uh, 8 o'clock Eastern. So check them out. Yep. So um, the um, um, we'll step back a bit. Uh, a lot of people say Royal Caribbean has the best cruise port in um, Miami. Oh, sorry, in Miami. Um, You've been to other ones. You've been on Virgin, I know. And um, how how was your experience going through the cruise port in, in um, Royals Cruise Port? Well, getting to the port, <laughs> taxi drivers all hate, right? It's just chaos, right? All the shit, all the taxis going onto the ship. But literally, we did not stop walking. We we got to the port about ten thirty because we had the key, so we did have priority, so we didn't. Um, we literally just walked. The, only time, the longest wait we had was just waiting from the scanner bags to yeah, security. Yeah, so it was and just it was real that, smooth. Walked on. Um, we did get a sit in the waiting area for Oasis when we went on that ship. So it was really, it's a really beautiful uh, mm -hmm. terminal. I really like it. But yeah, we didn't even, as soon as we got up to the waiting area, they were like, you can get on the ship. And we just like, just kept walking right into the ship. So we didn't get to experience it too much, but it is always a little hectic coming into the terminal, you know, the, the bag handlers are screaming at people. <laughs> like when you get out of the car, it's like, it's, just, it's kind of stressful, but yeah. then it, it chills out. And then you get the excitement of getting on the ship. Just take it all in. It's part of all the magic. I Be in your own little bubble. <laughs> I think I, I forgot to wear my, I usually have these loop ear plugs that kind of help deaden the sound. Cause that's something that really is kind of a trigger for me sometimes is this like really loud. So when we walk around Disney, I wear earplugs just so I'm not like hearing all of this thing happening, but too much happiness. Oh well. yeah, too much, too much magic. <laughs> too much. Magic. If there's icebergs in the Caribbean, Timothy, uh, we have a lot of issues. <laughs> um, and thank you offbeat travelers for your comments. That was I, will say, I saw something for the first time ever in the Caribbean. We saw whales. We did see a whale. Oh, a humpback whale off the Dominic DR, the Dominican Republic. I have That's never cool. seen that. Just doing the tail up splashing thing. That's cool. So That's yeah. Awesome. And, and, and that kind of ties into one cool thing about the icon is they really focused on being able to see the ocean. Anywhere on the ship you yeah, were. You like the promenade. You can look view. out and see the ocean. Just huge windows. I think it looks similar to like Mardi Gras, right? You know, they have that, that section on the side. It's just floor to ceiling windows, and it was the same by the Pearl Cafe, and it That's was awesome. We would just sit there in the morning, you know, we could get a seat, but it was a very popular place to be <laughs> for sure. 
Yeah, I like the embarkation part also. They, I mean, depending on the cruise line, we've had like Virgin Cruise Line, they try to make a game about it. And, you know, before well, you they go up the escalators and stuff, they the, try to make you happy and like go to party. They gave you they too. wine. They gave you champagne when you sailed away. Remember? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, before you get on the ship. Embarkation to get onto the ship. They they like made it fun before you go up the escalator to oh, get up. The guy was. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Angela is asking, "How were the shows? I hear the Aqua shows mm -hmm. are amazing. The shows were so good. So the first yeah. the first night we hit Wizard of Oz, which is the musical on this ship, and that was really fun. It was just a really great show. Amazing mm -hmm. talent amazing sets like it yeah. was it was wild the effects i mean they, they put money into the shows right yeah. they're not just the generic stage show it's um rigged. the the aqua show was great i don't know if we got to see it in its entirety i think it's an ever morphing kind of show as they figure things out because the skateboarders were in it but they didn't really do much and so i think they just couldn't figure it out i've heard the skateboards can't figure out the half pipe like it's not standard and but the it just rest throws of the show off. was yeah. like really great yeah uh, loved it. Always good. The ice skating show was also really good. Oh, it was um, really good. And I didn't really care for that on the Oasis so much. I mean, it was okay. I did. But this was really cool. It's really nerdy. So you're into science and things. It's, you know, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah. And, and then the games, uh, there was also a juggler, a comedian juggler, and he was pretty good. But the main shows, like the Wizard of Oz, the Aqua show, the ice skating show, mm -hmm. all so fun they were good. and so spectacular yeah i think there were a couple of shows that weren't ready yet there's a pirates and mermaid show in the aqua theater i don't know if it's aimed more for kids but you know it wasn't quite ready yet and effectors three i don't know which effectors they're on that wasn't ready it's like a stage show and i think it has a lot of drones and tech and stuff they have it on a few other ships but okay yeah, george, i think it's ready this week george said nothing will beat the aqua 80 show and i agree with I you agree. george I agree because that music is just chef's kiss but this one was pretty good. It was good. But it wasn't Aqua 80s for sure. It's a little smaller. The venue seems a little more round. I don't know. But it's also like in the front and then the top instead of in the back and the bottom. So that's kind of weird too. It, it moves a little bit more up there. So I didn't. But there's no weather. It's all enclosed in a huge glass dome. Oh, cool. It's really cool. I mean, it was a really neat place to be. Yeah. So what did Timothy say? My very first cruise is in 2019 on the Carnival of Fascination, sitting on the Lido with a drink in my hand and the top tropical breeze in my face, and I was hooked. Yeah, our first cruise, well, mine was in 1994, <laughs> 94. Um, How was that for? And then ours together was in uh, 19, uh, 2016. Yeah, the Disney ship. I was like, 19. Um, welcome what? in Travel Adventures with welcome. Eric B., you know, um, you got to love him. He only has one flaw, and it's a Miami Dolphin fan, but we won't go there. But, uh, <laughs> love you, Eric. Love you, Eric. Everybody, Good luck this year. Everybody has their thing. Everybody, everybody has their faults. <laughs> no, everyone. No, I said every, everybody has their thing that they like. Don't put words in my mouth. I didn't say that. Uh, um, what was your favorite show that you saw? Mine would definitely be Wizard of Oz. I like musicals. So, and I'm not even ashamed of it. It was fun. No, we both love musicals. Yeah. Oh, you picked that. I don't know. I thought the ice show was surprised me how good it was. The ice it was, show. They yeah. had a really, I don't know what this guy was. Kind of, he was kind of a juggler. I think he was on America's Got Talent. He's some professional juggler, but he yeah. was, it was pretty amazing. I don't think he's going to be there all the time. Awesome. Yeah. But it was, it was good because I didn't, I thought the ice show was like, okay. It's like, well, this is neat. But then this, the show was actually really cool. It really did, like did it up. No, go ahead. Because I'm, I'm gonna was the Wizard of Oz? I'm assuming it was like a very condensed version of it. It was probably what less than an hour long or so. No, it was at least an hour and a half. Yeah, oh, but it was wow. okay. yeah, like condensed. Yeah, and they kind of updated it for the times, I guess. You know, but, you know, Dorothy's on her on her phone, right? It, so they did <laughs> like that. It's the same story, but you know, it's just modernized to how teenagers are now. Oh my gosh. And Toto must be a French French uh bulldog now. Wow. 
something doodle. Oh, we did see the dog. Yes. Uh, from North to Neverland. Welcome in. Welcome. Thank you so much. So um, one of the big things with cruising that people love <laughs> and every, everything is subjective is food. So mm. talk about the food, like options, main dining room. We could probably spend an entire show talking about that, but initial thoughts of the dining experience and then what you guys had, uh, like just some things about it. Um, I, I think the food was, was great. I thought it was great. The main dining room was where we ate most yeah. of our dinners, which uh, it was we enjoy the main dining room. Mostly fine. Yeah. It was pretty good. I mean, you can tell it's since two years ago, since we last went on roll that, there's a little less selection and some, some days for me, it was hard to find something I wanted, but I don't, I don't need to, I can't eat shellfish. It was on lobster night. It was like the other, the other items other than lobster were kind of like meh, but, um, but it was good. The service was impeccable. Um, you yeah. know, I love, they still do the white tablecloths and it's, you know, they're cleaning up after you and stuff. So I love how they spoil you for sure. And the Aquadome marketplace was great. The place, mm -hmm. it was a lot like the Virgin where we could just go pick whatever you wanted. You had like the Asian, you had Mediterranean, you get crepes. It's a um, salad and sandwich. Yeah. So that was really cheese. good. Like we're missing one. Maybe not. Mac and cheese. Do you get mac and mac cheese? Mac and cheese. Yeah. So all in all the food. Awesome. Good. Yeah. What was that? It wasn't virgin or celebrity, but it was pretty good. <laughs> we didn't. I love, I love lobster nights or shrimp nights. You know, any anything with seafood. If they have a night of seafood, I'm. I, that's where I would like to be. We've had a couple of people talking about their first cruises. So, um, uh, did I go too far back? Um, well, you Carla, them up too. Carla was saying her first. Personally, if I'm not cooking, it's good. So. <laughs> Nineteen ninety five. Um, from North to Neverland, that was my first cruise too, and I believe it was in May of nineteen ninety three. We went on, I think it was the Atlantic. I went on with my cousin. Um, so we were on Premier's cruise line, the big red boat, and it was really more like a big tugboat, a tiny, a tiny <laughs> little tugboat compared to the some of these red tugboat. other ships. Yeah, and I learned quickly take Dramamine before you, you go. Uh, did you say learned or learnt? Learned quickly learned uh amethyst <laughs> hayes adventures welcome hello down hello. under cruisers welcome in all the welcome. way down from australia and derek you didn't even need to go to the gym because you had to row the boat yourself so exactly right yeah did the was was there a drink package or is everything included in this ship oh no no <laughs> no there was a drink package steve oh, boy. steve was I was on there every day because checking the prices. He was re he was returning the drink package, rebuying. You know it. How many times I yeah. refunded and rebooked things? Which, but yeah, we got it's just a, me an annoyance with Roy a little bit is how they dynamically price things and are always having sale. It's like it's like if Coles ran a cruise ship, it would be <laughs> would be world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everything's fifty percent off, but that base price goes up and down. So you had to kind of watch it. But yeah, we did have a drink yeah. package. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And it was 76, 76 plus, you know, the 18% or whatever. So that's as okay. yeah. cheap as it got. Yeah. Wow. On the chip, it was like 120 a day. If you didn't, like you could book it the first day. So, I mean, it's still cheaper if you're going to do it. So I'm always yeah. like five or six drinks a day you, you plan on drinking. It's about even. So that's kind of my threshold. Sherry C. Cruz, welcome. Welcome. Um, hi, guys. I've been lurking while on working on volunteer stuff. So thanks oh, for welcome. keeping me company. Well, thanks for volunteering, whatever you're volunteering in. Yeah. Um, we had uh, Carla McClendon said, because she works at a hotel in um, Cocoa Beach, she was saying that the people who owned the cruise line, uh, Premier's cruise line, when they sold it, they bought her hotel that she works at. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We yeah. always talk about, do we need to get the drink package? Should we not get the drink package? Um, it, I mean, because you think about it, when you if you don't get the drink package and you get on a ship, you're like, dang it, I wish I got the drink package because you'd want to drink more. But then if you already go in thinking, I'm not going to drink that much, then you, it makes you more choosy of, what you really want to drink and what you really want to try. Yeah. And so that helps with the cost. It helps with your overall health. 
and not getting not having a hangover. <laughs> I mean, it is a double edged sword, right? It's like it's nice to be able to pay for it ahead of time and not like get that worry, bill yeah, at the end of the cruise of a thousand dollars. Like, Whoa. Yeah. but um, but it, it does encourage you to probably drink more than you would, right? We probably wouldn't have wine with dinner, or you wouldn't, you know. Yeah, we would cut a few for sure. But yeah, like when you get the drink package, you have to make it worth your money, and that's why people do that. They make it worth their money by drinking a lot. I think we've tested it before where we didn't get the drink package and it's still it's it we actually saved money because we didn't actually drink that much. We we drank what we wanted to, but we in a long run we would have we saved money rather than buying the drink package. So yeah. it's just a hit and miss. It depends what kind of ship you're gonna be on, if it's a party weekend ship. Mm -hmm. If it's a longer cruise, you know, it just depends. So I think the luxury for me is not having to worry about it, not have to sit there and say, oh, what's this drink cost? How much is what's my bill? What's my account? You know, because that takes away. So I think it's that being able to prepay it is nice. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can spoil yourself. It's like, you know, maybe I will have that fancy coffee. You know, it's not yeah. just alcohol, but, you know, the glass of wine with dinner. That's kind well, of you get you. You brought up coffee. So does the does the drink package cover everything, or do you have to get a different tier drink package to cover some other things that the first one wouldn't cover? Like I coffee. think they have three. So I think there's a soda package, which is just soda, and then there's a refreshment package, and I think it covers mocktail, anything with except alcohol. Well, mostly everything. And then there's the deluxe, which is kind of what the, has the alcohol up to $14, which the drinks are pretty much $14. They didn't do the thing that Celebrity did and, you know, charge a dollar or two extra just for, um, to get a little more out of you. Um, the only thing they didn't was like milkshakes. Like there was a really fancy dessert or something and it's $17 milkshakes and, and like even when you can put alcohol in for like an extra $5 kind of thing. But I didn't see anybody at that place. I mean, it, I think that's kind of a fail for them because I mean, nothing's included. I think they did finally in the last couple of weeks add you can get a float with the drink package. Like, a, and I think it costs nine dollars to buy. But even like the classic shakes, they didn't include. But like you could have Johnny Rocket. So that was kind of a difference. And I, I don't think people are big on that change. I think they'll tweak that. I think there's a few things they will tweak for the next ships like that. Yeah, um, I think Daniel Field said something about uh, not doing it versus doing it because of the tips and everything. It might end up being more. Um, I don't know how you bring it up, but I think he was saying something about that. And that's true because, yeah, there it is. Sometimes it's almost too expensive at just to just pay the tips and taxes on the drink package. Okay, so you're saying it's too expensive to get them individually so you'd rather just pay the drink package i'm i'm guessing is that that's you still pay it. they still get you 18 percent on top of whatever you do so mm -hmm. but yeah. i mean i also get if you're getting a every time you get a, a ticket you're going to put two bucks on there right and that's going to be more than you pay for the standard package so now is water bottle of water included with your drink package yeah it will i think we i still we still got some bottles ahead of time just to have in the room just for at night and stuff. So. Gotta stay hydrated. You gotta, right. keep that, you gotta keep that skin feeling good and drink all your water. They probably limit how many drinks you can have at a time, don't they? Like every other cruise ship. I, you know, probably technically, but I never had a trouble with them. No. Like, I, like we could take each other's cards and say, just, you know, they're like, fine, okay, we'll just give you two drinks or something. But yeah, I mean, I think you have to wait a couple minutes, but. Did you have a limit of how many you could have a day? No, no, there's no, I mean, no limit. No, there's no oh, limit. Oh wow, because I know some other, yeah. some other ones they do that. Welcome, Jay Hoskins. Yes, so hey, Danny, Jay. Jay, Daniel was saying that um, if you get the package that that's free, you still have to pay for the tax mm -hmm. gratuities, and it can still be ex expensive. Yeah. So I was looking at um, when we first i first went on my cruise um from north to neverland the cruise i went on was the atlantic and it was from on may 28th it was only a three-night cruise um i packaged it in with the disney world um one for 
it was a whole thing combined for seven days because it was official cruise line of Disney World before they had the Disney ships. Um, so that was my first one that it was, was May 28th. So that would be interesting if from North to Neverland was on the same um, cruise we were for a very first cruise. Do they still Never know each other? <laughs> that, do they? They don't do like, you know, like park and sea packages, do they? Not officially. I mean, you can do it yourself, obviously. But Sorry, why are you talking about Disney? Was what they're talking about Neverland and the big red boat and stuff. Yeah, but that was premiere. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, there was no part, Disney. Didn't mentioned. they buy? I don't know. You said they're talking about Neverland. <laughs> Neverland. It's the it's it's That's uh, the, the from north to Neverland. Talking, yeah, but you start talking about Neverland, I think Peter Pan, right? So I'm just like Disney Cruise. You planted that seed in my brain. Yeah, That's well, a, okay. That's Welcome to Becca de la uh, creations. Um, oh, Becca. Becca um, de la, okay. And, so, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say that's a dream one day is to do like go to go to Disney, hit a couple parks for a couple days and then hop on a Disney cruise. And it's better to do it in that order, not to go to on a cruise first and then the parks. Yeah. Because they'll run you ragged if you go to the parks. <laughs> At least <laughs> us. We, we're Wait, there from open to close. You mean to go on the cruise, then the park? No, don't do that. Go on to the parks first, so when that's you go on the cruise, did. you can relax. Yes. That's what we did. Yes. And we were we slept two out of the three shows that they had, so we were pretty <laughs> tired. So I thought you meant go on the cruise first, then the parks, because we were so tired. I don't think we tried to enjoy the cruise, but we were very tired Yeah. the first couple of nights, and it was only a three-night cruise. <laughs> so Amasis is trying to decide if they want the drink package on the Forense. Um uh, I think yeah, we drink. If you drink beer, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, for Carnival. Yeah, and it also depends on how many you drink because we didn't have the drink package for the celebration, and I don't think we really need, needed it. Um, well, how much no, well, saying, so it's money. Yeah, I'm we sorry? saved money by not having it. The beer on well, the well, was like seven to eight dollars a piece for you know Miller Lite or you know domestic, and you could get like maybe a Stella for eight dollars or something, but. No, we're not planning this right now, Angela. Sorry. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. But I think with the drink, if you just drink beer, I think sometimes you can do better with just getting like six packs of buckets or something. You know, you buy five, get one free. I don't know. I think it's harder if you're drinking beer to make it worth it. This person, because, you know, cocktails are $14, beers are seven or eight. So. Hey, Ben from PTV. Welcome, Welcome in, Ben. Thank you so much for joining us. So um, we got about 12 minutes left before um, we end our show. Ship show is coming up next. Um, I believe they're having a show next. Uh, but so what are your just... To encompass uh, your whole trip. Yeah, and then I know you went comparing it to the Oasis. What are, like, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys to kind of talk about what you want for the next 12 minutes. And we'll shut Greg up. Oh, wow. Uh, me? Oh, okay. So what do we um, thought? I mean, we had a great time. I mean, yeah, there's some. There's definitely some design flaws on the ship that I think that they're probably going to change for the next ones, which I think always happens when you have a new, uh, you have a new class of ship. But, um, you know, like the port side on Sail Away on the Lido decks are all reserved cabanas. So if you wanted to like watch Sail Away from the port side of the ship, you could not do it on that deck at all. Cause it was all reserved spots, yeah. which is what well, was, it was kind of frustrating. The asymmetrical decks made it so that you really, it was a maze to try to get to different decks <laughs> on the upper decks. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but, and then also the swim up bar, which is amazing. Swim and tonic is like right next to all the cabanas, which was what most families <laughs> reserved. <laughs> So their kids were yeah. near it. And, you know, kids see water and they're like, oh, I'm going to sit in a pool. Yeah. There were kids splashing in the, in the swim bar. Yeah. So they don't. <laughs> and, and it's not the kids fault. And no, people were complaining yeah. about that in the groups and everything. And I'm like, ah, oh, just build a bridge and get over but it. It's, it's those kind of things that they'll figure out. Right. Yeah. Well, they even like the adults area. So that was really cool because we did Hideaway Beach at um, Coco Cay. And that was very much virgin vibes and Bimini virgin vibes. So they obviously copied. They're saying, hey, this is a good thing. Let's do that. And they also have an adult-only section on the back of the ship. And it used to, they switched it around at the last minute. It used to be kind of just some loungers on the side. 
you know, in the back was kind of a family area. And then they changed it. Hey, well, let's make this back, you know, it's adults only, you know, and they kind of had the bar, they kind of did the little vibey, you know, I would say Vegas. It was very Vegas. I guess you would say, but But it was a good move for them. Um, there was lots of great spots to like sit. It was, it was very reminiscent of like celebrity to me. Like there were so many different places. If you wanted to find a seat that was quiet away from people, you would, you could find it. Surprisingly, no there were a lot of little nooks. They use every bit of space and they'll put a quirky little chair in there, you know, and you can sit on it. Yeah. You know, the quirky chairs that look really cool, but are really uncomfortable to sit. on. <laughs> Yeah. So, so they switched it around last minute before your cruise like, and made it back? Like before the first sailing, like maybe one or two sailings, they switched some of the areas up. So, I mean, they're still learning and they're still going to tweak this. And yeah, the hideaway be- was it was for everybody. That's the one with the pool that's kind of suspended above the infinity pool. Uh, and then now they've changed that to adults only. But yeah, there were just some tweaks that they did, but it was just kind of a weird... Because then... It just put different, they're really good at separating, like, especially the kids into like different areas. So it, that, there was 2,300 kids in our sailing because spring break, sometimes it felt like that, but most of the time it didn't, like you didn't really deal with the kids if you weren't in the surfside mm-hmm. area or whatever, but there's just some choices they made that I don't know if they're going to continue that or not. But, but I was surprised at how uncrowded it felt. It was busy. I mean, don't get me wrong. There were, it was busy. Um, but for the most part, it wasn't like we can't really do anything except like maybe dueling pianos, like because that was obviously a very popular venue and it was oh, awesome. Yeah. And it was Forgot awesome. Dueling pianos. Yeah. That was really fun. But you had to get there early, you know, if you wanted to get a seat or a standing room. But um, but no, they did a really good job at just spreading people out to the ship. So it was pretty impressive, honestly. Did you notice? Um, like I noticed on the bigger ships, they usually have things that if you look at your list of what you want to do for the day on the planner a lot of times they have things planned at the same time. So people aren't going to, it was the same kind of thing. A lot of big stuff going on at the same time. Or did I you didn't notice that? I didn't notice that. No, we did for a first time. We did uh set time dining and it was like five o'clock. You know, we had the, the had, old country buffet slot, you know, um, I didn't mind it though. No, I didn't mind it was originally five thirty, but I think they snuck in another seating in the middle. But but it worked out good because we could plan around it. And there were always two shows a night, right? It would be an early and a late. And it, it really worked out for us. And I think we would probably still do set time dining. But what he's saying is we didn't really have an issue. We didn't have we did not have an issue finding shows. Things. Things. <laughs> see the shows yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really remember saying, well, I want to go to this or I want to go to this. I can't do both. I don't think right. that really happened to us. Yeah. I mean, I agree with everyone in the chat with the kids. I wasn't thrilled about it. Like, <laughs> we don't have kids. Like, I want well, to. I don't have. Yeah. But the thing is, I'm also not going to get mad at kids for doing what kids do, which is they like a swimming pool. And so if Royal puts a swim out bar pool next to an area where a lot of families hang out and there's kids in that pool, like, well, too bad. Like, kids, <laughs> kids want to swim. <laughs> like that's not their fault but yeah yeah um you see them more running around at night when there wasn't activities for them to do yeah. looking for ducks the every, all the kids are all looking for ducks everywhere <laughs> so i kind of see why was it is it disney that kind of was, was shutting down the ducks so i heard about that yes they were supposed to be shutting know, the ducks down i don't know why they'd want to though <laughs> it's such a fun thing to do for yeah. all ships um, I think more people like to do the cruise ducks, but there's a there is a large amount of people who think it's stupid to do it. I mean, it's kind of fun. It's kind of yeah. oh, there's a duck. We found a gorilla. Um, but um, offbeat travelers, I probably looked like I was going to vomit because I'm getting to the bottom of the drink, and I mixed the Guinness beer with Jameson whiskey, and you can really taste the whiskey at the bottom. So it's like really. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we did it with uh, Stella, Stella Artois yesterday and the J- Jameson. Oh, is that what you did? And that, for some reason, that was strong. That just like boom hits but you. I thought I was doing this. I thought I was doing the same thing you did yesterday. Did you like this one? I like the Stella Artois better. Mm. Not for the buzz, just because I, I like it. Oh, and whiskey. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Yeah, it was a, an experience. <laughs> Also, Amethyst, there was some rude kids. I got to be honest. That really irked me. Can I tell that story real quick? Yes. We were in, we, Steve and I, again, we don't 
bug anybody. Like we were in an elevator. We're both introverted. So we're just like quietly sitting there waiting. There was like four other people in the elevator. Then these like three middle school slash early high school kids come in. And I could just tell this kid was like one of those kids that would have bullied me in high school. And I think like, I was just like, I don't, I don't like you, <laughs> but I wasn't going to say anything. The kid's like giggling to his friends and we had our microphones on, you know, like our little clip on microphones and a camera right? You had and camera. a camera. Yeah. And the, the kid was like, what do you do? What are you a newscaster? And I was like, I looked, I like deadpan <laughs> looked at him in the face and I was like, what? He's like, what do you guys do? Are you a newscaster? And I was like, I'm actually a weatherman. <laughs> and I my head, like, not acknowledge him anymore. And then he said something about, he said, he kept asking us questions. And one of his Stupid friends was like, question. he's just messing with you. And then I looked him straight in the face. I was like, do you think you're funny? <laughs> like, do you really think you're funny? And then the doors open, we walked out. Cause I was like, I, but I told Steve, I couldn't imagine talking to an adult <clears throat> that age. I could not imagine talking to an adult like that. Because my mom was offering everyone to to spank my butt if I got out of line. She was like, Just "Oh yeah, smack him. Smack you can him. hit him if you want to." Uh, but yeah, so that's the, that's the thing I didn't like about the kids. Like, there's some entitlement there that I don't understand in that generation that I had never really kind of been. Yeah, but you can tell when a pack of teenagers get together, right? They get uh, a little more brave. Yeah, even adults, you could talk. I mean, oh. if you have to, you could talk to them you know that way but yeah derek and i we just we just kind of like okay let's just hurry up and get off this thing and do our own thing or whatever but sometimes you really gotta say it i don't do not choose this whole cruise i chose confrontation (laughs) because you know what i'm done i'm done with people i'm not gonna be like oh i'll just shrink myself so you can exist in this world i'm like absolutely not (laughs) oh no 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 not shrink yourself but yeah, I know what you mean. And I'll be like, I'm mortified, right? But he's like, what's he going to say? What's he going to say? <laughs> Steve is, I could see Steve getting scared. <laughs> Jamie Wohite, welcome, welcome in. Another fellow Arizonian. Oh, really? Yep. Near, near should be near you too. So Hello? obviously the question, and, and we probably already know the answer. Would you go on Icon of the Seas again? Yes. I think I want to try it non spring break. Oh, yeah. 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 I would, yeah. I, I would absolutely do the if the price was right. Would I, would I pay double over an Oasis class? No. I think I would choose ports that I wasn't super excited about because it just feels like with a mega ship, you really want to like, yeah. Stay on the ship. Or, and like, yeah, enjoy right. what the ship has to offer. And then if you're going to ports that you you've, haven't been to or want to see things, it's kind of like you lose, it's like a lose situation but they don't so. tend to go to ports that are rare either. another double-edged <laughs> yeah. well you guys only had three port days though that's really good on a seven night cruise that's we love our sea days yeah oh, the, old, the old school eastern caribbean right it was saint thomas saint martin and the private island that we're seems... trying to go to the nude beach but they didn't take us there <laughs> you have to walk there now <laughs> too hot for youtube <laughs> <laughs> was that on Coco K or was that on? Wow. Oh, yes, I've heard about that. She just may not be there for yeah. very long. Right? <laughs> oh, Jamie's in Tucson. I, I thought she was oh, in, we're in Gilbert, Phoenix, but I love Tucson. Yeah. Shouldn't have made your own nude beach. <laughs> I think you would probably Tiffany. get in trouble with that one, but yeah. Well. Huh? <laughs> That's hilarious. This looks like a good spot. Oh, there we are. There we go. <laughs> there's, there's like so many other questions that I wanted to ask. And yes, of course, um, like it needs a part two at some point. <laughs> time goes by so fast. <laughs> um, you guys are currently been releasing videos for your carnival panorama, right? Yeah. From what was that? 2022? <laughs> it's it's two years yeah two years ago yeah <laughs> so we're trying to work through that and I don't know we might skip to icon but after that one we might go to icon. And then go backwards. But yeah, I mean, these videos are for us because like you guys, you, you guys know, it's like watching your scrapbooks. Like it's so I don't yeah. really care. It's just weird because there's masks on in our video two years ago and people are like, oh, well, you have to wear a mask. And I'm like, no. Yeah. coming out. <laughs> the uh we're we're in the same boat we have um <laughs> sorry i can't say that no 
Which... we have uh, so... our Sun Princess cruise that we haven't done. That was at <gasps> oh, February of 2022, I think, is when we went on that one. Or <laughs> January uh, 2022. We have like, we're doing our encore one that i'm going to continue doing that before i do i i don't know what which one i'm going to do after that but we have we have about five cruises so we're the same way ben wow. <laughs> i got slapped we got we both got slapped by ben ben loves to slap us with uh what's that from stewie from family guy he's slapping his teddy bear it's a gif um... but we're talking about the new beach or well, actually you guys brought that up but i'll just say nobody goes to the new beach to show off you'll see we see. did we booked the excursion to go to orient beach but then for some reason they were like eh, we're i think they put us there. in the wrong van yeah because we like, <laughs> they feature. looked us both up and down they were like no thank you oh thank you so much for joining you. us have a great night we are, we are at the top of the hour yes so the ship shows on in about 15 minutes we want to still... say thank you very much for coming on our show it's yes. been way too long yes. so we love you guys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first time being on our show since we've been in the new home. Yep. So hopefully not the last time. I'm sure it won't be. Oh my gosh. How <laughs> how morbid. You're never coming on again. No, guys. I'm just I'm hoping they want to come on again. <laughs> you know, they just have a rotten time with us all the time though. <laughs> Part of our community <laughs> service. <laughs> oh, wow. That's good for a couple of years. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, any final words, you guys? Um, final words. Final guys? words. Yes. That's a little mm. more morbid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> final words. Party final words. Final words. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like the <this laughs> video. Support D and T and G and oh, Waypoint. T &G. The Explorer Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. And Please support Waypoint Explorers also. Yes. Thank you for Danny and Angela who have been putting the their links yes. into their, their really channel. Yes. Have um, a great night. Oh. I was just going to say, like, yeah, this ship might not be for everyone, but we like to explore all different kinds of things, and it was it was fun. So, And thanks for letting us talk about it. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. We, we, we are supposed yeah. to have Disney Nerd Herders on next week, and we're – uh, they actually have done something exciting for the very first time, and they're going to talk about that with us. And we're also going to incorporate some Easter with it because it'll be our Easter show. It'll be the show right before Easter. It's so weird. Easter's on the very last day of this month. Anyway, <laughs> Greg is an egg. <laughs> the Cadbury Bunny. It sounds. Was like. that the Cadbury? The. <laughs> 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 all right guys i'm derek and i'm gregory if you forget our names it's okay because i'm a little explorer and i'm big explorer and as walt disney once said we, we are, are just getting, getting started. started have a great night have a good Thanks. night Thanks again. Bye. Bye.